special to be with you because you just know things and you know how to work your magic and you also there's like a luring seductive kind of energy about you as well and it's like it's almost like you're not even trying because you see how this girl over here she's just like looking out the window and he's just like he can't he has to go and touch her like you don't really look attention seeking even though you dress very sexy <laughs> Welcome back to yet another pick a card reading here on the channel. And if you don't know who I am, hello, my name is Aidy. I will be your tarot reader today. And today's reading is going to be all about what makes you sexy. What is your sex appeal? We're about to get all up in it and understand it, okay? Um, but before we do that, let me talk a little bit. Hello, hello, my beautiful lovelies. Welcome to the Scorpio box. Look, y'all, I'm going to be completely honest with you. If you are not ready for things to get real, if you are not ready for true transformation, don't use these products. Okay, because the moment that you use this Pluto oil, use the Scorpio oil, light your candle, light an incense, jump in the bath, shit is on and popping. Okay, I'm not joking. I am going through it right now. I'm just going to be completely honest, but I am grateful. Truly grateful because I'm going to come out of this much stronger, truly transformed in the ways that I have been dreaming to be. So, yes, you guys, black baptism, don't play with it. <laughs> don't play with it. You guys, I set my intentions, okay? I set my intentions, lit my candle, got my incense going and jumped in the bath. And I asked for boundaries to be set and they were set. Okay, everything that needed to come into the light this Scorpio season came into the light in order for boundaries, true healthy boundaries to be set. And I really give it to this Scorpio box, the Pluto oil. Everybody knows we don't fuck with Pluto. Okay, so I'm so serious, you guys. If you are looking for true transformation to really be cleansed from your old self old patterns that have been keeping you stagnant if you are not looking to be really detached from what's been hindering you do not use this Scorpio box because you know when we are detaching from that type of energy it is painful changing and growing is always going to be painful but you know Good Ritual got you guys. So check out this box. It's on sale this month. It comes with two magic intentional oils, a Scorpio oil, a Pluto oil, okay? It comes with an incense that is great for deep transformation, courage, tapping into the courage to just break through, to do the shadow work. This box, if you really wanna do the work, you wanna do some shadow work, if you really ready for the real shadow work, this is the box for you. And Fireburn, uh, Fireborn is a great intentional incense to use while you're doing that type of work. Now, everybody knows I love a black bath. This is my favorite bath. Whenever I do spiritual baths, I love doing a black bath. If you are looking to cleanse yourself, process trauma, break through, reset, okay? Discover a sense of lost self. Take a bath in black baptism, okay? This shit is no joke you guys but again you can pick, the, pick this up at goodritualshop.com let me know what your guys's intentions are this scorpio season how your scorpio season is playing out but let's get to this reading so go and check out those boxes or any of the other ritual kits that i have in shop i have over 30 candles 50 oils bath rituals a lot okay go check out the shop okay you guys we hit 10k we hit 10k this month and i am so proud and happy for us and excited and i'm so grateful for everyone who has shared the channel if you want to participate 
in the giveaway for the 10K giveaway, go and check out the 10K giveaway video that's here on the channel. It explains everything. But I just want to say thank you so much, you guys. And we are trying to get to 20K. So continue to share because there will be another giveaway, okay, for the channel once we get to 20K. And I really want to get it to um, 20K by the 21st of December, winter solstice, before the year ends and when we do that and if we do i'll be doing a giveaway for that for seven of you guys to have a free year reading okay so the uh, free yearly reading so we're going to do a 12 month spread to see what your 2023 will be like so if you're interested in having a free reading to figure out what your on um, 200, 200 i can't speak i've been doing too many readings already but I ain't gonna stop. I'm gonna keep going. Because I have this reading and another reading that I need to do. Actually, I'm trying to do five. But anyways, look. Free tarot readings. If you want one, share. And then we'll have a giveaway. Okay? But go and check out the giveaway. Because we're, al we're already doing one giveaway right now. And so go check out the giveaway video to participate in it. Okay? Um, anything else before we get into this? Got my nails done, so I'm gonna be doing this all day. Um, go and follow me on Instagram. Check out the shop. You could book readings with me through there as well. Aura readings. I read auras, and uh, of course, you know I'm throwing cards for you guys. So if you want to book with me, book through my shop. You can only book with me through there. I don't do all this crazy stuff. Those are scammers. You can. I don't reach out to you. I let you guys come to me, which is through my shop. Okay. Um, go check out the OnlyFans if you guys like spicy content. It's over there. All that good stuff is over there. Um, yeah, let's get into it, okay? This is going to be about how or what makes you sexy. Right. Hmm, okay, so we're going to do a pick a candle. You know, fall and winter is coming up. So, you know, I'm going to throw my candles in your guys' face. This one got messed up. Sorry, guys. And a lot of these candles that I show are like the beginning candles that I made. So they're old and they I keep them in a box. And I probably should just go down to the shop and get, you know, new ones. So I can actually not have to cover up things, you know. have a chip right there. But this is the road opener candle. These are the candles that are in my shop that you could, you know, win in, in the giveaway. And I'm going to let you guys pick whatever you guys want from the shop, you know. This is your magical practice. So I'm not going to be like, oh, I'm only giving away, you know, money candles when you want, when you want a, um, where's that candle at? A love come to me candle. I'm not going to be like, oh, I'm going to give out money candles when you want actually a love candle because you're trying to manifest. This is about your magic. Okay. We have a success candle. And we got the money candle here. So these are all candles from my shop that you guys could have from the giveaway. Go check it out. So I'll put the picture up so you guys can actually resonate with the candle. So reading number one, we have a road opener candle. So this candle, you light this when you are trying to open the roads to something that you want to experience. So if you're trying to get a job, if you're trying to like um, anything, anything that you're just trying to clear the roads and open the roads so it's just like a smooth sailing drive to that destination, this is what you would um, work with, this road opener candle. I was really going to call this a portal opener, but I was like, I'm too meta, you know, I got to tone it down. I got to like, you know, tone it down. But this is a road opener, but do you see how it has like a... Um, like a dome over it it reminded me of like a portal when I created that sigil and all of my candles have sigils right directly in the middle so you can connect with and put your own intentions into um, reading number two we have a success candle so you would light this candle when you are working on being successful at something um, whatever that is reading number three we have a money flow candle so you would light this candle when you're trying to let money flow in abundantly into your life, into your business, um, into your bank account, okay? You're trying to get that promotion, 
you can use all three of these candles for that but yes these are the candles for the reading go and resin um zone in and resonate on what candle is calling you and then i will see you at your readings my love hello number one let's get into your reading let's find out what makes you sexy what makes you sexy you picked this road opener candle The first thing that makes you really sexy is that you're very goal driven. Just because you picked this card, I feel like there are things that you have accomplished in your life, whether it's school or your career or just like anything. It could be like, you know what, I want to learn how to knit. You stick it to the end and you accomplish it and you are really good at it. Um, you're very goal driven. You could be like, you know what, I want to read these books and I'm going to do it. Or I'm going to. This whole month, I'm going to learn how to do Italian cuisine. I don't know. It's something like that. And you're just very, like, goal-driven, you know? That's the first thing that people see you as very ambitious. You're, it's very sexy, you know? It's very sexy. You're very ambitious is what I'm feeling, okay? So let's see what makes you sexy. Okay. <laughs> I don't know why I'm getting like this. We have the five of swords and we have the three of swords. If I can pick them up, flipping all over the place. I feel like people just really don't even know what to do with you. You're kind of wild. I feel like you're kind of wild and your wildness turns people on. Like the way that you can just like, I don't know, the things that you say sometimes is like off the charts. Like they're not expecting you. I think you have like this look which is very sexy, very innocent sexy is what I'm really feeling. And then you, like, your mouth doesn't match, like, what you look like. Like, the things that you say is kind of like, whoa, it blows people away. I feel like you're kind of like a heartbreaker. I feel like the way that you treat people, it's like you don't get attached, you know? And that, that detachment, it's not like an unhealthy detachment that I'm feeling, but it's like you are very independent and you can stand on your own and you're not afraid to speak your mind you're not you're not scared to like be who you are um you're not scared of being cut off or dumped like even if you were you just you kind of see it as their loss you know i feel like a lot of people don't know what to say to you because you're so sexy they kind of like are scared to be rejected by you you have that kind of energy especially when they start to talk to you and they're like oh shit like this person just is kind of wild you know with how they speak but what makes you sexy is that you kind of have this aggression about you too like I feel like your looks I'm just getting this energy like your looks does not match with like your personality and that's how people would see it that's how people would explain you it's like oh she looks like that but don't be fooled she's really like a demon I don't know why I want to say that but it's like you have this aggression and it's really sexy people like your partners kind of like to get in arguments with you they like to um <laughs> Okay, I'm seeing like a lot of dramaticness. I feel like you have this aggression about you. You have this mouth. You will pop off. You will cuss somebody out and it's hot the way you do it. You're really sexy when you get angry is what I want to say. So maybe somebody in your life really likes to see you angry. They try to get you mad or something like that. That's the kind of energy that I'm feeling. But I also feel like you're kind of dramatic too. Like you're kind of like a drama queen um, and or a drama king and this is kind of sexy about you because you kind of like you do care I feel like you have this detached energy but then like when you actually show that you care or that you are attached it's even more sexy is what I'm feeling okay so let's see what else makes you sexy but that's really what I'm feeling I feel like your hair too is really sexy too it's very edgy there's an edginess there's something about your face being very like innocent though and everything else is like so edgy about you you have a young youthful look to you and your legs are really very sexy too the way that you move your sex your sexy legs go and say someone might say that or think that about you but this girl has tattoos on her legs so if you have tattoos on your legs it's extremely sexy to somebody okay so let's see what else makes you sexy see there's that devil energy so you're very like 
I want to say that you're very dark in a way. Like, I feel like people don't expect you to be kind of, like, highly sexual and aggressive. And, like, you know, you just say whatever the fuck you want to say. You know, like, <laughs> see, you're very, like, very dom. You know, you're very dominant. And it's really hot because you are little. Some of you guys are really little and petite. And um, it's really hot to see, like, someone very strong in a body like yours. Some of you guys are like that. Some of you guys are just very dominant, you know? Um, you also don't reveal a lot, too. Only when it, you know, when it's time. You let people wait. When you let people, when you make people wait on you, it's really, really hot. You have this energy where you just, you don't move unless you want to move, is what I'm feeling. And then there's this, like, people feel like there's, like, this non-committal kind of energy about you. Um, and you're also very, like... You're very about yourself. There's the Knight of Wands here. So you're very about yourself. You're very like, you you whisk people away. I don't know if this is about like, th this is the flirtatious energy. Yeah, you're, you're very flirtatious. The way that you talk, it's almost like, I want to say that it's like dreamy. It's like very theatrical. People are watching you. They are like, they are like very enthralled in the way that you're just even pronouncing words and talking to them. People might even mistake that you are flirting with them. Um, okay. <laughs> I feel like, cause this devil is holding like this massive dildo here. So I feel like you have this really wild kinkiness about you that from the, from the get go, from the get go from the from the start it's like you allow this to be seen you allow people to know like yeah i might look like this you know i feel like a lot of you guys are like petite you wear children clothing you can at least like you're very small and then it's just surprising because people are not expect expecting someone to be so bold and like in your face and that's how you are and that's what makes you very sexy you dress very sexy too you have a very nice way of dressing i also feel like you don't have a problem being in the dark like doing like i don't want to say toxic things but like in moderation i don't feel like it's an unhealthy thing you know like people really enjoy going out and having fun with you drinking you might do substances um from time to time there's people that think that that's really like hot and sexy and like um interesting about you that you experiment with different things i also feel like you're a very good communicator and the way that you talk and you communicate yourself is very sexy as well you're very smart you have a really bright mind and a lot of people find that to be very sexy okay and you have your shit together i feel like with the two of pentacles like you take care of your priorities and you're you're never really like i don't want to say without but you like you take care of yourself where you're not in difficult situations you know that's what i'm feeling um yeah that's what i what i'm feeling here <clears throat> you're very psychic and i feel like you have these moments that are very mystical to people like you might be lighting candles you might do spells and it's really interesting like you prioritize your spirituality and your lifestyle because this woman has like a spell going on it's like burn okay i'm back sorry you don't even know i was gone but my phone died so let me collect my thoughts your intuition you're very psychic yeah okay so what i was saying before i got cut off was this card right here you see, she's spur she. You are a person that whether it's religion or spirituality or you're just the practices that you have in your life, um, you prioritize them. You see how she has this going on on her altar? There's something burning, and it's like it's that's kind of sexy. The things that you hold important in your life is um, that makes you sexy because you hold them to importance. And it's like she's burning something. He's probably, it's probably for him. It's like you're you're doing something and people don't know what you're doing. There's like a mystery, there's a mystical, there's there's like elements about you that they want to figure out, like they want to know. It's like you know things with this intuition card, right? It's what really makes you sexy. It's like you know things and you're not really quick to just like communicate them all at once, you know? This person would have to sit down and talk to you and get to know you to know the things that they want to know, that you know. You just know. You know, and it just really makes 
you look sexy. You're very smart on many different, look at this, you're a magical bitch. Number one, like you're magical. We have magic here. So a lot of people feel like there's like this magical, mystical element to you. Like you're just like this creature that is different, you know, and that, you know, people also feel like a lot of things work for you because you know how to, like there's just, you know you're lucky and they tend to look at like your practices whether that's like going to church or um, doing your spells or like you're a practicing witch or you're just like you know you're a yogi and you're just like you know there's so many different ways of living and they kind of see it as that and it's pretty hot it's pretty hot you know a lot of people feel like it's beneficial to be with you because you just know things and you know how to work your magic and you also there's like a luring seductive kind of energy about you as well and it's like it's almost like you're not even trying because you see how this girl over here she's just like looking out the window and he's just like he can't he has to go and touch her like you don't really look attention seeking even though you dress very sexy you're not attention seeking it's something in your attitude where you just like you know you know you're the that bitch and you know i don't know there's just that energy and then people see it as very hot they see it as like oh this person's not trying to get attention they are that bitch you know that's what i'm feeling what makes you sexy is caution like oh look a lot of people be like that's dangerous i can't go there and they isolate it's like you're so powerful you know like they seek they see your power within your mind they see the power within your body within your like energy your spirit and it's like it's kind of like whoa if i touch that i might get burned i'm hearing that song treat me like fire by lion babe that's your song that is your song i'm gonna let songs come to me through this reading that's your channel song it's treat me like fire and people are just like you know it's that's your energy for real because like in the song she's like saying like you know I am gonna live my life I'm just doing me and that's what I'm gonna do you know so you better watch out you better treat me like fire because you will get burned you know and I glow and I shine and I radiate all this energy and you want to come towards me but you're fire you know and they gotta be cautious so that's the kind of energy that you are you have so much sex appeal you you know how to use it too and you flirt and you don't give a fuck you're like a heartbreaker number one i'm really feeling like feeling that so what else makes you sexy actually let's just that's enough let's get into our charms what else makes you sexy okay people just want to eat you out I don't know, it's something about your legs, it's something about your scent, like you smell really nice. Like a lot of fuck boys come towards you, but it's like you have repellent in your intelligence. Like when you speak to them and stuff, you have like intelligence and it turns them on, but they just know it's like, fuck, I'm gonna get wrapped up. I'm gonna like, uh, like she's eliminating all this fuck boy energy from me and I wanna stay a fuck boy, but fuck, you know? You know how to take pictures very well. Like you just know your angles. You, um, you're very beautiful. You, you uh, like you enhance your beauty with like makeup and hair and stuff. You're very well put together, is what I'm feeling. And um, you are very good at like taking pictures and doing videos. And you're very photogenic, is what I'm what I'm feeling. With this heart, with the switch, this is what you do. You know how to switch your heart off, and they're just like. Uh, you know, like, I feel like you know how to play mind games, but it's not manipulation. It's like, to you, it's like, I just know my worth and I know, like, where I need to put my attention. And sometimes you know how to shut your attention off, which is your love. Like, I'm not going to be giving my love out. And that shit makes you sexy to a lot of people. Like, they feel like, oh, I got to go turn her heart on again. Like, I got to do good. Like, I don't know. You guys are fucking with a lot of fuck boys and shit. Surf. A surfboard so a lot of people feel like you know how to ride through the tough things you know and you know how to get them out of tough things so you're a person that really gives a lot of advice and people feel like when they crash because you've crashed you you don't have any problem crashing and you know you know how to fix it and so a lot of people feel like you know what to do so they come to you for advice they come to you to understand what they should do in their own life you know they see you honestly if you're a woman a lot of people or it doesn't matter they see you as spouse material where you know 
they would benefit from being with you because you just know what's up. You know what to do. You know how to get yourself out of situations. We also have this. Look, this is you, number one. You, you don't care. You'll say it, you know, and it's sexy. You're going to say it. And I feel like a lot of people, you they you surprise them with what you say. They're just like, but a lot of people want to eat you out or give you head or, you know, just make you feel good. You also know where all the good spots are in town. Like you like going out, you like eating, you like, you know, you have this fun energy about you too. And so a lot of people like to go out with you because when they go out with you, there's like conversation at the table, you're flirting, you know, there's just like a whole vibe, you know. You're very transparent with who you are, but they, I keep, somebody wants to give you some oral. Somebody wants to give you oral, like so bad. I'm not trying to, spirit, look, somebody, you, people dream about this, actually. There's something about your scent, your body, like your legs, like the lower half, like your butt, like your, your navel down, the, the shape of it. You know, it's just like, I feel like you guys have really small ankles. Some of you guys have got really small ankles. I don't know. It makes somebody crazy. I'm trying to get past it, but we have this fishbowl. So what makes you sexy is that you're transparent. You do keep your private life. You have a private life. It's not like you're all out there, but you're very transparent with who you are. You're very cozy with who you are and who, you know, who you are. You're cool with your, your beliefs, your, your, um, with your beliefs. You have no problem talking about it. You have no problem sharing the different things that you, like, if you're a witch, you're like, yeah, I'm a witch. You know, uh, like if you are very spiritual or religious, you don't have a problem sharing that, you know, um, so yeah, those are the things that make you make you sexy. Number one, let me know down below. I feel like you got magic. You got that magic pussy for sure, and you just got this magical vibe <laughs> with this intuition and magic card. Like you are casting spells, and you're not even trying to cast. Like you are the spell. Number one, you are the spell. So let me know down below. Who's trying to get you into bed and spread you like a condiment? Okay, let me know down below and I'll see you in the next reading. Peace. Hello, hello, number two. Welcome to your reading. Let's find out what makes you sexy. You guys are the ones that have picked this success candle. Okay, so one of the big things that make you so desirable and interesting to view and look into and get to know is that um, with the success candle, I feel like you have overcome a lot. That's what I'm really feeling with this, that you've overcome a lot. And so this is really speaks to the people that know you. Um, they see that makes you incredibly sexy that you have overcome a lot of like hardships in life. It's almost like you've had a hard life and I'm hearing this song by this independent artist he says something like he was born to lose you know but he's out here winning like you know so i just feel like that's what makes you sexy is just like especially when you talk about your story and you talk about the things that you have gone through people are like i would have laid down and died you know like <laughs> that's what i'm feeling okay so let's see what else makes you incredibly sexy yeah, a lot of this energy, it's the same energy that I was feeling right now. I want one more card just to tap into something else. Okay. You're incredibly spiritual. This is it's incredibly spiritual. Pile here with the hermit. Even more spiritual. Like you're on, like you're in, like you understand the universe. You know, it's very meta. Like you're, you're like very meta in a sense. Even if you don't know it, it's like you're very in tune with the laws of the universe. But I feel like a lot of you guys do know it. She also has this like window where her heart is. So I feel like you're very, what makes you really sexy is like you're very, you isolate yourself from the world. Um, you don't let a lot of people in because I feel like you 
only trust people that prove that they could be trusted, right? So that makes you sexy. And I feel like, but when you kind of guard your heart, but not in a sense where people can't see who you are and who you are about, because it's like a window with drapes and they can peek in, but they're there. They're not allowed access unless, you know, I want to say they play until they play your games. So I feel like you play a lot of games. Number two, you play a lot of games and they're sexy. I feel like they're not like manipulating games. It's just like you kind of put people through their trials. They have to beat like all these different kind of like mini bosses until they meet you. You know, I'm feeling that kind of energy and it's respectable because I feel like right off the bat, you're very transparent and you tell people how it is, where you from, where you came from. So you kind of talk with like an attitude and you got like, you know, people can really see that you are not like you're not like there's a lot of flavor to you there's a lot of like layers to you you know um that's what i'm really feeling and i keep peering out like you're so vast you know and so maybe when people look at you they might think certain things but when they start to talk to you and they really listen to you you're really talking some shit you know so i feel like you have this way about you to communicate things where people can understand and that's really sexy we have the five of pentacles i feel like um there's an attitude in your in your talk you have an accent and there's like an attitude that i'm feeling that's really sexy um i also feel like you're not afraid to cry i feel like and it's like i'm feeling like another like drama queen drama king like i don't know you're very emotional it could be very that you're very emotional and you don't have a problem crying i don't know why i'm seeing new york from i love new york the reality tv show where she's just so crazy i don't think that's but i feel like you're really emotional and i don't know i can't i haven't seen that show in so long <laughs> but i don't know why i'm seeing her cry at a table so there's like a scene and i don't even know what i'm talking about right now but it's like she's crying at the table and it's over something crazy, but it's just like, I don't know. People find it like kind of funny, humorous, cute, sexy that you can like just be in your emotions. You know, you're a very highly emotional person. That's the window where they could see like, oh, okay, this is a very sweet person. She's not, or he's not just, he doesn't have like this hard exterior. There's also a softness, you know, that I want to get to know, but it is guarded. Um, you have incredibly good taste with music. You could talk for a long time about music, about movies, about literature. And it's very sexy that you're kind of like really into the culture, really into um, the flavors. I just keep hearing flavors of life. You know, it's it's really sexy. I feel like your hair is very interesting, too. You might dye your hair a lot or have different wigs that are different colors and different styles. That's really sexy. I feel like somebody just likes how you just look like a different person all the time. Um, you know, it's you're very creative with your hair. You're very creative with your makeup and your clothes as well. That's really what makes you sexy. With this Five of Pentacles, though, like, what I'm really feeling is, like, you're very quick to let people go. Um, now I'm, I'm, I'm really picking up on something very like specific with somebody, somebody finds this to be sexy because they see it as like, you're getting triggered. So I feel this, like, this might bother you a lot, but a lot of people see like they can understand it. It might not be something so extreme, but you're very quick to like cut somebody off and you're okay because you've gotten very comfortable with like who you are you know and where you where you are in life so i feel like there's this energy that people feel like it's it's very um it's very like uh alluring for someone to just like you know you're very you're not attached that's what i feel like it might be it's more than what i was feeling with number 1 Number one was a different kind of energy that I was feeling. This is more like toxic for you, number two. You're quick to like cut somebody off because you're not trusting of the situation. Um, it doesn't really backfire for you. I feel like a lot of people chase after you. They want to get back in. They want to get back into the fortress. You kind of have this wall up, 
you know, and you're quick to close the gate, make the wall even taller, you know, and it might be toxic for you. It could be toxic in the future for a, like a relationship that you're in. But a, for right now, a lot of people see this as like, okay, you know, there's, there's a lot to you. You're very vast with this three of wands and a lot of people want you. They want to hold on to you. You know, there's a lot to you. You have a venture. What makes you sexy is that you like to go on a venture. You like to go and have fun and explore things and like experience life and explore yourself, you know. Um, there's a little bit of trust issues that I was picking up. A lot of people just find it as like, okay, this person kind of wants me to chase them and they're worth it because there's there's a lot of vast energy, rich energy with this person that I'm feeling. Um, there's a rainbow here. So some of you guys can, um, some of you guys can have rainbow energy there's this cloud with lightning so i feel like there's like this sudden kind of energy of emotion there's rain clouds there i just feel like you kind of have like you're very an emotional person which makes you very sexy you could be very expressive as well let's get some other cards out here okay so we have the hermit coming out again you're very like i want to i don't want to say closed off but i want to say that you might be a little bit closed off, you know, that's what I want to say. But it's it, it what makes you mysterious, I feel like it's like a mystery. You know, I think later down the road, people will like start to think or know that this is more of like a trust issue than um, holding your attention. But it, it seems like you're kind of in and out, in and out, in and out on your end. It's like, oh, I don't trust this person. I'm not going to get my person, this person, my heart. Um, but on their end they're like oh god i would just want her to want me you know i want him to want me you know so they chase after you but i'm going to tell you number one because there's some real shit coming through you know i'm a reader that's going to tell you the real i pick up on the heavy shit this is going to eventually run out for you the person that you really are feeling and that you fall in love with you cannot do this with you have to allow them in because they're gonna eventually see that oh okay this person is just like you know they got issues you know they're gonna eventually see your issues but that is what makes you kind of desirable is that you're in and out. You kind of ghost people, that kind of energy. Ten of Cups here. When they're in the gate, when they're in, it is like on and popping. If you, you feed in them, you're giving them so much love. And the way that you love and nurture is just so sexy. You like to cater. You love to give, you know, and express your love in so many ways. And so when they're in that gate, when they're in the fortress, that's it. They got it. They got that honey pie. You know, I don't know why I want to say that. They got the honey pie. It's so sweet. It's so like, and with honey, it's very nutritious. It's medicine. Honey is medicine. It's not just here for us to enjoy its sweetness. It actually heals us. So when you actually let people into that window that I'm seeing here, it's healing. You have a healing vibe to you. Um, you're nurturing, you're caring, you're loving, you're, you're somebody that they could lay down roots with you know and that's what makes you incredibly sexy okay we also have the eight of swords here so i feel like this yeah i was gonna say this person so there is a person that's really looking at you and thinking a lot about um trying to it's like you create it's like you know how i said you have these games <laughs> you have games was that you yeah that was you you have these games and what makes you sexy is like you, it, it's never dry with you. It's like, I mean, I feel like if you continue to push people away, that's a different, that's a different um, thing. But I feel like you have the, it's never dry with you. You kind of keep people on their toes. They kind of feel like they have to find another avenue to get into the fortress or to stay in there or find another door that they can go in. So I'm just seeing that, that there's a lot to explore about you and that's what makes you very interesting and very sexy and desirable. You also have a very curvaceous body. You have very plump breast, um, very natural plump breast um, and your hips are wide. Um, somebody really likes the way that you like their hands feel on your hips but also i feel like you know how i said like you keep people out i feel like when you let them in you see that devil right there devil walking the back i feel like they have to go through so many doors to get to the devil and it's like it's fun you're not easy like it like i feel like it will take them a long time to to get you to this you know to get you to this at this point where you naked when you're completely vulnerable 
you know, on many different aspects, in a sexual way, in an emotional way. It's just like, you know, you let people, people got to jump through hoops and it's sexy, you know, for you. But I get a real, I'm, I'm being seen, uh, being shown a scenario of my own experience um, with this person, you know, it's like, that I know, it's like, eventually you're going to fall in love with someone and you're going to still have these old games, you know, that were meant for people to really show them if they're worthy. But somebody has already shown to you that they want to nurture and love you and care for you. And you're going to still have them jump through hoops and play all these games and chase you. And they're going to be like, okay, really, this person has issues. I'm done because I want love. And then, you know, I'm just telling you, giving you a heads up. So, I don't know if this is already happening in your life and this is just like a message that you need to hear or eventually this is like, you know, you need to like tone it down a bit, you know, let people in and let them because I feel like, look, when they're in, they're completely fed, you know, I feel like there's somebody that wants to feed you. Did I do these? Yeah, I did. Okay, let me do this. I keep forgetting. I'm doing so many readings. Okay, so yeah, a nine of swords, though, I feel like <clears throat> what makes you really sexy is that you don't trip. I don't know, maybe you don't show it. You might experience all the tripping inside. But there's an energy of like, you're not like, you're easygoing, you know, you don't trip, you don't freak out. And I, I get a sense of that you keep all that stuff inside, you know, so that's why people don't see that. You hide a lot. You know, okay, see what makes you desirable? What makes you sexy is that there's so much mystery to you, right? There's so much mystery, so much mystery. Look at those two pillars. I'm just like staring at them. It's like, and again, I'm just like seeing someone walk through these two portals. Like, it looks like a portal, not two portals, but these two pillars, and it looks like a portal that somebody has to go through. So I feel like there's just so much mystery to you, so many layers that people, like, and it's like, you give them a taste of these things, and um, you don't give it fully. You know, you make it where they have to just completely surrender to you and deal with your shit, you know? Um... But I also get that when you actually surrender to somebody and you allow to, them to experience you fully, it's really sexy. This is just how this energy is coming up. But how you reject people, how you just turn people away, you might be like, you might have a, a style attachment. What's it called? Attachment style where you reject people. You're like an avoidant. You kind of ghost them. That people, there's a lot of people that find that to be sexy and they want to chase after you and like, make you surrender to them, you know? All right, let's get some. What else makes you sexy? Your fuck boy or fuck girl energy kind of makes you say, you might be non-committal, um, and that kind of makes you sexy, makes you desirable, or is that, that you're not willing to settle down until you really find that person that's deserving and that will jump through all your hoops and go through all your games and your mazes. You know, um, but until then, you know, I'm still going to talk to Jerry and Tim and Todd. You know, that's how you feel. And it kind of makes you more sexy because it's like you're very sought after. What makes you sexy is that you're very sought after, too. A lot of people find you to be attractive, like physically attractive. Read more. So you might be a reader. You might be someone who reads and, you know, that Herman energy, like learning and stuff. You're very smart and you, you're always having your head in a book, which is very sexy. We have the porcupine, so you're extremely protective over your life and self, and then you don't, you will cut a bitch. I'm just playing. But I kind of feel that energy, too. Like, you will protect yourself, and um, if that means that I'm going to pop off at you, or I'm going to, like, get in a physical, like, I'm also seeing that energy, like, getting into, like, a physical fight, some people find that to be sexy, okay? <clears throat> we have this, if it fits, I sit. And that's the energy that I'm talking about. Little kitty stuffing itself in a box. And it says, if it fits, then I say it. And it's like, I feel like what's interesting and sexy about you is that you're not willing to like, just make things fit. It has to fit in order for me to sit. 
if I'm going to sit here in your energy, your energy got to fit and match mine. And that's what makes it sexy, makes you sexy. We have a bicycle. So I feel like you're very active. You like to go out and have fun and do maybe like outdoor stuff and um, like just have fun is what I'm really feeling with this bicycle. But also I feel like, you know, this is a vehicle. So this is about movement again. I feel like what makes you sexy, number two, is that um, you're really focused on your own path, going on your own path. And if your energy can match me, then you can ride along with me. But I'm going. Keep up. Like that's what your energy <laughs> That's what I got for you, number two. I feel like, I don't want to say you a hot mess, but I feel like you turn people into a hot mess. You see this energy? That's how I feel like you do to people. This is the person that is finding you sexy. Like, and you're just like over here. Oh, okay, I'm in my books and my music and learning and exploring myself and going on adventures and, you know. And there's all this energy where like you don't stay mad for long. So these people come back or you come back to them and you don't stand, you don't stay mad for long. And it's just like, ugh, you take these people on an emotional roller coaster. Number two, let me know, what are you doing out here to these people? Let me know down below if this resonates and I will see you in the next reading. Peace. Hello, hello, number three, welcome to your reading. Let's get into it. Let's find out what makes you sexy. What makes you sexy? Okay, you guys are the ones that have picked this money flow candle. So, I mean, what makes you sexy could be about your status, how much money you make, or the way that you, how you are about money. Um, I feel like you have multiple streams of income. You're very, like, business oriented, or just, like, you're really about your career, um, and elevating in a financial kind of way. It really makes you hot. You, you know, you're not really looking to people to take care of you financially. You can take care of yourself. You're very, um, you got your own place, your own car, your own money, you know, and you're always working on elevating in that type of way. Okay. So that's what makes you kind of sexy. Just going off the candle. I also feel like you guys give out money a lot. Makes you desirable. Could be to a lot of fakes. Okay, so watch out. Don't get used. Let me just put that back and I just want to see what makes you sexy. What makes you sexy? Oh, this came out for number... Oh, okay. Ten of Wands, I feel like what makes you sexy is that there are a lot of things, like you take care of a lot of people, you, you know, you're, you don't mind like doing the work and taking care of people, you know, and handling your business. You have a lot of stuff going on. You might have to take care of a lot of people and you're very caring in that way. You'll hold the weight. You know, you have a lot on your plate and you're doing it. You're strong. You're very mentally and physically strong. And that's what makes you really sexy. We have the three of wands here, though. So I feel like with the three of wands, what makes you sexy is that you are always looking to experience life and to go on an adventure and like to have fun and to explore and to try things that you've never tried. You're very spontaneous is what I'm really feeling. And your mind is always focused on like where you want to go next. What do you want to do next? You know, what do you want to experience? You're never the person like you might have some favorite spots in town to eat at, but you're always a person that likes to try different places and do different things. Um, eat at different places, fuck in different places is what I'm hearing. Like you might be a person that really likes to have sex outdoors and that's really sexy. That's coming up. We also have the two of cups here. So I feel that like what makes you really sexy is that um, you are like relationship type. Like you're like a dream person to be in a relationship with. You know, that's what I want to say. 
yeah like you're a dream relationship person like you know and just the fact that you're just so adventurous and you like to you like to go out and try all these different things that even makes you more valuable as a partner but you really like to see person eye to eye you're very i want to say monogamous and so a lot of people see you as someone that is like you know you dedicate a lot of your time and energy to the people that you love and that's incredibly sexy i also feel like you have you know if i'm getting a woman's body i feel like a woman if you're a woman you could be very curvy um your hair is very flowy and long for sure both these like it could be very long and flowy and that's what makes you so sexy and desirable you're very childlike energy too like you go and explore the things that you've always wanted to do as a child and that's what makes you incredibly sexy you also have a, a certain look the way that you dress is very sexy too like there's a certain way that you look that is unique unique sorry oh my god renaissance have been on repeat I'm sorry unique that's what you are like a lot of people see you as unique you know okay okay we have the nine of cups here the two of wands so you're very flirtatious you have very curvaceous legs very um your legs the shapes of your legs are very like i don't know i want to say cartoon like it kind of looks like a cartoon um like very shape like good cartoon like you know I don't know. I'm seeing like Betty Boop. Boop. I'm seeing like, um, what's that girl called? And Roger Rabbit. Jessica. Okay. So I feel like you have like a very curvaceous, sexy body. And um, you're very like dedicated to your people, you know? So a lot of people are like, they feel like they're lucky to be with you especially when they have their attention and you give your attention but your attention is also on your aspirations and your dreams which is very sexy and it's about your money like you about your physical experience and that's what really makes you sexy too we have the nine of cups here so i feel like you indulge like the way that you indulge is really sexy too you know um like going out to dinners and just I don't know I feel like when people are with you they feel like you're just enthralled in them like you give them your attention you know they don't ever feel like they have to fight for your attention you are into them you know you are into them you are giving them their time and you're flirting and you're like you're you're having a good time you're enjoying yourself people when you're enjoying yourself people love to just stare at you they just you're so sexy when you're enjoying yourself and you allow yourself to indulge and to indulge in your 3D reality and whatever is happening. You have um, you have went through many deaths. This is what I'm feeling here with this death card. You've gone through many deaths and it's incredibly sexy. Like people have watched you transform, you know, people have really watched you transform into who you are today and they know that when they check in on you a year later you're not going to be the same person so it's like you are just continuing to expand and explore yourself and you have no problem exploring all these different elements and experiencing yourself to um you know to get what you want out of life and that's really incredibly sexy there's also this energy like i feel like you take souls so you might really be good like in bed you know that's incredibly sexy like some people are just like at all like how, what you do in the bedroom you know you take souls you suck the soul out of them you fuck the soul out of them <laughs> like i just feel like you're just a wild animal in bed that's really what i want to say like i feel like there's just like really sweet like just i don't know i don't know how to explain it it's just like you're just your whole you're just your you're a vibe and you're just like a like there's just I don't want to say there's like so many layers like of course there's so many layers to everybody but I feel like this like people that are actually in relationships with you or get to know you as friends they're just like wow this person is just like all around so good and you know it's what makes you so sexy there's so many good things about you and you're just like laid back and cool and chill you know and then when you when they get you in the bed it's just like you turn into like a sex demon or something i don't know there's like this ten of wands here you just like you take control 
A lot of people like how you take control. They like, con you like to take control over people and it like, it throws them off. Like you see how she just like ripped off her clothes and she just jumped on this nigga in the, in the woods and he's just like, oh shit, his, his underwear is on his knee. <laughs> his underwear is on his knees. And he's just like, you know, and they're not expecting this energy. You're just like kind of wild, you know? So you have this wild side to you that is really sexy. And when they're in, when you in your wild side, you're just in thralled with them and it just turns them on you're so incredibly sexy and it's like because it's like you are about your pleasure you are about your pleasure about your happiness and that is incredibly sexy we have the high priestess here so i feel like you know you just know things you're, you could be psychic you you have secrets you don't really like like you're transparent you're about expansion and like you know expanding and that does take transparency when you're in that kind of energy, but you also keep things to yourself. There's some things you have a hidden life that is just for you. And it's not about hiding secrets or having like this other life, but I just feel like there's things that you're like, well, this is me. This is, there's some things that you keep only to yourself. And that is really sexy. Okay. Yeah. You, you like have a completely separate life that nobody sees and it's not like about being secretive or manipulative or you know it's not about that it's just like okay so let's see what else makes you sexy i feel like you're so smart you have a very um smart witty mind god this keeps coming out for a lot of people what else is here okay rest so I feel like what makes you sexy is what I'm really feeling, which I'm going to get into. I'm going to make another video. I just, I don't know if I have enough energy to do it today. And I do want to make a singles love video. <sighs> but I feel like you have, you get a lot of rest. You prioritize your rest and that's what makes you incredibly sexy. It also helps you become more beautiful. Um... And I think that's what I'm going to call that video instead of become more sexy. It's about becoming more beautiful um, than sexy. But you're, you get your rest. And so you prioritize your relaxation and your rest, which makes you really sexy. You know, we also have isolation. And I think these two kind of go um, hand in hand with each other. It's like you have a whole life that don't include all these motherfuckers. And bye. You know, that kind of makes you more sexy you know it just makes you more sexy than all these other people because all these other people are so concentrated on what everybody else is doing you're just like you know what i'm off over here bye you know and i'm doing my stuff and i'm living my life i'm with me only like there's an isolation kind of energy that makes people like it makes you mysterious you know we have mystery here so it makes you kind of mysterious because you're like gone and you might just be prioritizing your rest your you know your energy levels <laughs> you know, your pleasure, you know, and people are like, what are they doing? You know, like, what's up? I haven't heard from this person in a while. Or like, what are they doing? They're always alone. And, you know, like, I, I kind of feel left out. I feel kind of ghosted, even though you're not really ghosting them. You know, you're just like, you're by yourself because you like to be by yourself. So I feel like that's, again, the high priestess energy. You kind of like to just be by yourself. But let's see. Let's tap into our charm and see what's going on here what makes you more or what makes you sexy sorry i'm fucking up with these <laughs> yeah talk i want this one this one's staring me in the eye Ooh, it's hard for people to get a hold of you that's what it is it's hard for people to get a hold of you that's probably because you're just in your own you know vibe and you don't need anybody else's vibe you like you're a type of person that you have complete you are you have fun by yourself. You laugh at yourself. You laugh with yourself. You can have really a bunch of fun with yourself and relax by yourself and learn by yourself. Like there's this energy of being alone and exploring and expanding at the same time, you know, and it makes you really sexy and desirable. We also have this, this was just staring at me in the eye. And um, this is about Use the heart with eyes. So I feel like this is about like you letting people see you for who you are, um, like an, an emotional. You have no problem like expressing your emotions and letting people see your heart, 
you know people really see you like see that this person is a good person this person cares this person knows how to love they are really they take care of themselves and the, uh, the people around them you know people really see that you have a heart you know that you are not just like a cold-hearted bitch like your heart is hot it's warm it's a place where people want to sit and soak and get comforted and healed you know like yeah but then again which is healthy because it's balanced you be leaving people dry as fuck okay but these brother i feel like that's coming up because these are the people that don't know how to like generate the warm heart themselves you know and so i feel like also it's like you have this energy and this is like this heart is what keeps people really toned in because this makes this dry energy makes people mad and kind of like what's going on is you know what's going on with this person you know because they feel dry and it can get dry sometimes but it's because it's not all about them you are a person that's really about you and then it's like confusing because we have this pineapple and pineapples really to me symbolize hospitality so you are a host people love coming to your house you're so sexy because you're cooking for them you're throwing parties you're you know you're you know you're very organized with like events like, okay, we're going to have a dinner party at this place and da 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 Or I'm going to plan the birthday party and, oh, you guys can come over. We're going to have, like, a sleepover with all my girls and you got all the snacks and, like, you know, and your boyfriend's like, damn, eh, she's sexy. Like, she's so organized. Like, I don't know. It's something about that. Your organization, you're a host, you like to entertain your your loved ones and cook for them. It's incredibly sexy. It's like a, it's like a, um homemaker kind of energy that i'm feeling like you like to really nurture your loved ones in that way and it's really sexy like for your boyfriend's birthday or for someone that you really like you are planning a whole thing you know and you're putting effort into it and it's really hot and you're very sweet and you taste sweet so a lot of people like to eat you out it's your i don't know okay i'm getting really graphic you have a really sexy pussy that's what i want to say a lot of people think that they like it. They want to taste it. They dream about it. I don't know what's going on, but <laughs> we also have another heart. So you really like leading with your heart and people see that and they really see that, you know, this is chaotic. See, the thing is, is that when people are in and they really get to know you, they see how turbulent your emotions can go and it can be sexy. They like that they can sway you. So sometimes when the people get in and they come in, when, like, it's not about not knowing. It's not, this is not attached kind of energy. You do isolate yourself, but it's like, you know, you balance. You about you. But when you are about somebody else, people can really tell that you are about them. They like how they can emotionally sway you. And that's really sexy, you know? So, like, if your boyfriend, I can't say that spirit. See, somebody, they're trying to tell me this story and I can't. But I couldn't believe what this person said about me. <laughs> But it was a boyfriend of mine, right? It was a boyfriend of mine. And it just was like, but he laughs it off. Like, you know, he'd be laughing and shit. And it's not funny, but it's really like, I feel like they find that incredibly sexy that they can mess with you. And like, if they do something, it might hurt your feelings. Like they could tell that you are an emotional person and that's really sexy. Okay. It's not that they want to hurt you, but it's sexy that I don't know that they, you know, you're just an emotional person, I guess. And you're okay with showing it and people can notice that it's real. We have the flamingo. So you like to show off. You like to be on display. So you could be very sexy. You like to be flashy, you know, <laughs> you like the colored nails and the, you know, the, the cool outfits and, you know, the hair. Did I say that about you? Oh no, your hair was long and okay. But you might like to dye your hair and do different styles with your hair and your makeup and you're kind of flashy. Um, you like to be on display and a lot of people see that you should be on display with the flamingo. So it's like, they like to put you out on display. They feel like they, what's sexy about you is just like your look, your whole appearance is sexy. And they, they feel, people feel like you should be seen, you know? So people want to put you on display and you like that. You like to be on display. You like to look good and all of that. So that is your reading number three right yeah number three i hope it resonated let me know what you be doing in secret can you at least tell me i know it's really secret and you don't like people knowing what you be doing because you know it's your life but can you tell me what's going on behind the scenes what are you doing in your alone time tell me your beauty secrets i'm gonna be revealing mine with my patreon um a lot of my beauty magic um and body magic that i be doing 
but I know you got some. That's what I was feeling with that rest card. But let me know down below and I will see you in the next reading. Peace.